Hi, it's Luke here from MO Agency, and I'm gonna take you through the marketing dashboard on HubSpot. It's something I refer to every day to check progress on our digital marketing, and it lets me know how we're tracking on a daily basis and what's happening. We've got multiple people who contribute to our digital marketing effort every month, and this central dashboard allows me to keep track on it really, really nicely and very, very quickly. So to start on the left here, we've got our sessions um, way up on December. This is, um, this is the January figures. December from in South Africa is holiday time. So typically um, the results are quite low. Um, January, uh, we were back on form. We did quite a bit of paid advertising on social media with an awareness campaign. People come back from holiday and they want to um, uh, max out the performance on their digital marketing campaigns. Hence, we built this really, really cool awareness campaign, which I'll talk about a little, a little bit later. Um, as you can see, we added 540 contacts in January and six customers. Um, landing page performance, a little bit down on the month before, um, purely because the month before was organic. We tend to have higher conversion rate, uh, rates on organic. Um, but the actual submissions were, were big considering our spend. Um, new contacts a little bit less, so existing contacts converted on uh, our landing pages. On the right here, we've got our top landing pages. This um, landing page over here is uh, the culprit for that, that produced all the submissions. We did a, an awareness campaign with a infographic about the social media trends for 2018. So people on holiday coming back um, to work, kind of thinking, how am I going to max out my digital marketing? This little infographic did really, really well for us. Nice conversion rate of 21%. Um, what does a WordPress website cost? Also did really well. People coming back wanting to build websites for their businesses, um, same sort of thing. This is not really awareness. This is more con um, uh, the consideration stage. Um, this is an evergreen piece of content that we've got. We built it a while ago and it just yields uh, contacts again and again. And this one is a machine digital marketing audit checklist. Um, as you can see, conversion rate 73%. Month on month, that thing does really well. Um, Everything, every contact that comes into our system is assigned a persona. Um, we profile these people on the forms. Um, Marketing Port is our major um, uh, profile we target or persona we target. Um, this is a marketing manager or how, how we, 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 we term it an influencer. Um, Executive Eddie is next. We call this a decision maker. Um, sales Sam, we get a lot of sales people that uh, come onto our website and uh, do uh, buy from us and they definitely act as influencers in the sales process. Um, so a number of uh, number of contacts, but significantly smaller than the marketing uh, managers are salespeople um, or people responsible for sales. Email performance, um, these are all automated emails. So this is not a bulk emailer. This is uh, people, uh, contacts in workflows being sent automated emails, uh, a little over 1,000 sent. Um, 200 are clicked and uh, a fair amount of them opened. Um, click through percentage dropped a little bit, probably need to investigate that. But again, that's why this dashboard is so great. Everything is right there and I can now go investigate. Um, I don't have to wait for my agency um, or uh, my digital marketing partner to do a report for me at month end. I know the results instantly. Um, Nothing major to report here. We just see a sort of uptick in uh, social interactions. Sometimes on a monthly basis, I'll see a, a little spike and we can go investigate what post caused that. Um, this is a really, really great little uh, widget here, returning contacts. From here, um, I can tell how many people in that, in that month have come back. This gentleman over here has come back to our website 18 times. We'll probably find if we go into there, he's viewed in the order of 30, 40 pages on the website. So these are guys, uh, th these, are, these are website visitors that our sales team need to get hold of. Um, and I'll typically click into the profile here and see if the salesperson has actually been in contact. Um, top blog posts, what, what content's being consumed? Um, I wrote this article, so I'm quite happy to see it's on the on the top here. Um, but it makes sense that 
people are thinking about new websites, start of the year, um, and also social media trends for 2018. Um, scoot on over to reports. Um, HubSpot's recently updated this dashboard. It's really, really nice, really easy to use. Go over to tra traffic analytics. Again, this is January, so or last month, it's now February. Um, and you can see with this red over here, we did a fairly extensive paid social media campaign. Down here, we can see the colors. Um, we got just over 3,000 sessions um, from paid media with a conversion rate of 12%, which is awesome. A um, lot of new contacts. Organic search, also a nice conversion rate, 59 contacts. Um, and so it goes down. Very cool that you can actually um, just trend the uh, particular type of traffic. And if we really want, we can actually drill down into, let's go into social media. We can see which platforms contributed uh, contacts and what the conversion rates were. Um, because we did such a heavy Facebook paid campaign, this is a little bit skewed, um, but maybe I'll show you uh, another month and have a, a look at how um, it actually not as skewed. Let's just go to this month. Um, and there we can see LinkedIn and Facebook have rendered contacts. Not as extensive, but we, have, we haven't done this uh, paid campaign and we're about halfway through the month. Um, let's go back to the previous month and go back to all sources. And I just want to show a trend. Actually, let's go to an entire year, rolling date range, last 365 days. And let's look at organic search. And you can see how our organic search from when we started uh, HubSpot, probably in November 2016, has just upped and upped and upped. Um, we've really focused on our content production, but again, I can pull this report really, really easy with uh, the analytics dashboard. Um, another dashboard that I do pop over and have a look at every now and then, not as frequently as the analytics dashboard is the social dashboard. Um, we're looking at the last 30 days here. Um, I can just tell how many clicks have happened, interactions, and I just want to see that things are trending upward and we're not flatlining, which means, you know, things are, uh, we're not active on our social media platforms. Followers on Twitter um, up and uh, published posts up, Facebook up, up, LinkedIn up, up, and Google up. Um, it also nicely shows you which are the top top uh, messages that have gone out this month. Happy to say that one of mine on LinkedIn um, got the most interactions, but we can easily start to see which um, kind of content does well on social media applications here. Yeah, and that's about it. I hope it kind of enlightened you a little bit on the HubSpot dashboard. I'm a fan, helps us control our digital marketing and see what's working um, on the fly. Massive, massive uh, uh, advantage of uh, monthly reporting. Keep well. Bye.